Oh, I'm just not enjoying this video game right now. This game sucks. I used to love playing video games, but now I don't enjoy them as much as I... Hey, did you used to enjoy playing video games, but, but now you, you don't really... Uh, you're not finding them so enjoyable uh, anymore? Then you might just want to watch this video. Because I'm going to tell you uh, how, to, how to make video games to fun again. To enjoy playing video games, but now they're just... And a straight, straight, uh, straight talking video, which gives you practical tips uh, and advice. Uh, and I used to enjoy, playing, to video enjoy games. playing. So just before we start, I just wanted to reference the the, the, the Dark Souls uh, video that I did, uh, the top ten unique uh, uh, one. Um, so thank you for all the really nice comments. I really, really appreciated all the really nice comments. Uh, lovely to read. Um, it makes me feel great. And um, there were some less nice ones though, uh, so maybe less of those, uh, please. Um, you're old, um, which just had bad grammar in itself. Um, you need an, an apostrophe in there um, and then an E on the end as well. Uh, please stop. Uh, you're fat. Uh, and uh, I buried my dad yesterday, but this was worse. I mean that that's just mean, so. In terms of the editing, I did get a few comments about that as well. Um, yeah, I've had a conversation with the editor. We're gonna try and, and, and tighten things up a lot more. Really nice, professional conversation with the editor. So hopefully this video will be a lot different. Of course, I, I've done TV work in the past, so I'm used to working with, you know, some of the best editors out there who can, uh, well, they don't need to make me look good because I think generally I'm, I'm generally all right. I'm quite, quite good at presenting. It's, uh, you know, you just need really, uh, hopefully moving forward, that's exactly what we'll, we'll see. How to make video games fun again. Of course, there's no uh, one size, uh, one size that fits all. Um, you might have to try a few of the things that I'm going to suggest. It's, this is a, a series of experiments, I guess I'd like you to think of, um, to see what works, what works for you, because some of these things can work incredibly well. It's just about, it's just about giving them a go. And if you try any of these tips out and they work, tell a friend. If a friend is saying to you that they're getting fed up with playing video games or they're just not enjoying it so much anymore, you know, make sure to, to tell them about it and like the video and <clears throat> subs <clears throat> subscribe as well, please. So tip number one, try a game you wouldn't normally play. So if you normally would play, say, first person shooters like um, like Halo, then you know maybe try something different. Try uh, Dark Souls, uh, one of the, the, the Sunfroft games, you know, that they, they um, offer something very different. You know, they're challenging, uh, but exciting. You have to, you know, get good, <laughs> if you like, in, in a different way uh, entirely. If you normally play, I don't know, uh, real-time strategy games, uh, and there's nothing really on the horizon or the things that are there don't look fun, then, you know, again, try something different. Again, you know, you could try Dark Souls. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Dark Souls fan. So, again, try something that you wouldn't normally play. That's the, that's the, first, of the, <clears throat> that's the first of the tips. Tip number two, take little holidays. Now, I don't mean that you have to keep spending loads of money and go off traveling around. I mean, you can't, you could do that. I mean, you could do that if you wanted, if you've got the money and the time, uh, then yeah, go for little uh, breaks. But uh, find little things that you like to do that give you a break from gaming every, every uh, 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 sometimes. Um, because again, it's important that you sometimes get some time away from the games. If you're not enjoying them, you know, maybe sometimes just don't, don't force it. I'd, for me personally, I, I, I do stand up. I do stand up comedy um, often on, on weekends and things because of you know work and, and so forth. But you know that's how I try to to um, you know relax. Um, I mean, I went the other day, th three hour drive. I went for the other day just to do a stand up gig in front of about six uh, six people. But it went re it went really well and uh, got a really good um, uh, good feedback. Um, and, and constructive uh, comments, you know, to me, this, that's, it's art, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all art, you know, and, you know, no one appreciates uh, uh, drunks. But try something 
uh, give yourself a, a break, you know, find other little things that you like to do because those, those things are important as well. Tip number three, um, mix up your game types. It's quite similar maybe to the, to the last one. I can't really remember why, why I put this down. Um, just, I mean, if you like first person shooters, try different first person shooters that you wouldn't normally play. Uh, try, just try different things. Because, you know, trying different things, you know, is the uh, variety, is the, the spice of life. Tip number four, create a backlog. Um, there's some really great websites out there where you can go through uh, and list all of the games that you would really love to play at some point. Um, and then you can go through those uh, and, and maybe even order them in terms of, for example, uh, difficulty. Uh, maybe you want to start with the most difficult or even the least difficult if you, you've been struggling because games are too hard. Um, you could order it by average ratings, uh, bo box art. But again, it gives you a, a structure um, and it's, it's, it's nice because it's, it's goal focused and you can feel, get great, uh, a, great sense of, um, a great sense of achievement by uh, ticking off the games that you managed to complete. And also, you know, the, 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 what I would also suggest is, you know, if, if, you, um, if you're just not enjoying it, just bin it off. Just, I mean, don't mean actually put it in the bin. You don't have to throw it in the garbage or whatever, but you just, as in just, just stop playing it, move on, try and up, you go, move on to another one on your list. So create a backlog. Tip number five, delete, delete the backlog. If, if you're finding it overbearing, if it's kind of weighing you down, it's a bit heavy, you've just got constantly on your mind, oh, all these games to play, it's just too many and oh, I really don't feel like playing the next one, I don't feel like playing the next one, then don't, you know? Delete the backlog, so get rid of it. Uh, if it was just weighing you down, but, uh, just play whatever you want. Just play whatever you want. Tip number six, uh, consider retro games. I think that's a, a really uh, a, a great consideration when it, it comes to trying to make games fun again, because, um, you know, there's so many retro consoles that you can try that maybe you don't own um you know it could be uh master system um mega the mega drive um or genesis depending on uh where where, where you live um the, the uh, dreamcast um playstation one playstation two uh the sat no not the saturn but there's there's plenty of um really great uh, i mean if you if you you can play them with the actual hardware or, you know, emulate whatever, um, you know, whatever kind of works for you really. But the retro games, there's so, obviously there's a lot, isn't there? <laughs> Whew. I mean, uh, so there's, there, I've been playing the PlayStation 3. You might have seen some of my videos about um, when my PS3 died and it just encouraged me to, to get another one. And I got um, a whole bunch of PlayStation 3 games that I just, I either never played or had sold or, or whatever um, and I've, I've been enjoying it so much the PlayStation 3 so you know I, I massively would recommend playing the PlayStation 3 if it's one that you never really if you was only ever really playing three the Xbox 360 for example during that era I don't I mean you know is the PS3 retro I guess you know maybe at this point but uh, that's something I, I would recommend also um, go and check out charity shops because you know sometimes in in the charity shops uh, you get some real bargains so there might be um like you know some games in there you just thought oh, i never really thought of playing that but you know for for a pound uh, i can't complain or, or whatever it might be or three pound fifty oh I'll, I'll maybe give that a go and again that could be some place where you get some retro games i'll i'll show you in it <clears throat> i'll show you i'll show you an example so recently uh, I went to uh, my lo local high street and um, I went into one of the charity shops there and um, I, I picked up this Silent Hill uh, HD collection. So, so I really wanted to, be, I, I had thought about playing Silent Hill uh, 2 uh, uh, recently, um, but then I realised obviously my PlayStation 3 that I got 
uh, it's not backwards compatible, so I can't play PS2 games. Um, I mean, I've always had funny feelings about the Silent Hill games anyway, because uh, when I, I remember when I was playing uh, Silent Hill 2, um, my girlfriend at the time actually split up with me, so um, I, I never actually went back to playing Silent Hill 2, and it's one of the reasons why I never really got into the Silent Hill uh, franchise, I guess. So, um, for, for me anyway, I, I kind of wanted to maybe give it a go again, uh, the Silent Hill games, because I know people love them so much and they're always, always talking about them. So, um, because I can't play the PS2 game uh, on my console, um, I, I managed, I saw this and I thought, do you know what? Do you know how, how much it was? Two pounds. Two pounds this was. Two pounds, sealed. Look, it's sealed, right? But here's the other amazing thing. I picked this up for two pounds. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I walked out, went to the next charity shop, and guess what? There was another one. There was another one. Look, also sealed. And I mean, I couldn't believe it. It was three pounds there. I was, I mean, I was disgusted that they charged more than the other place. I thought, like, the cheek. But, you know, for, for two pounds and three pounds, I got the Silent Hill HD collection. So check out your charity shops. That's always, uh, you never know what bargains you might get in there. Tip number seven, personal challenges. So uh, these can be self-imposed challenges that you place on yourself. So, you know, um, for example, uh, defeat Dark Souls uh, without leveling up um, is, is something that, you know, you could do. You could go like, I'm gonna try and get through a Dark Souls game, but without leveling up at any point in the game, just just the we weapons maybe or, or something like that. So again, it gives you, just, it makes it, uh, maybe a bit more difficult or just uh, it's an, just a new challenge a new way uh, to play the game um, or of course you know there are people that um, will complete say you know Dark Souls with um, like a, a Guitar Hero controller I mean you could do something like that I mean I mean that's what really impressive um, and of course you know you could just again other whatever challenges suit you I don't know maybe completing Elden Ring without summoning at all you know and um, Tip tip number eight: uh, share your highlights uh, online. So you know if you've got a a, a funny clip that happens, uh, upload it onto onto YouTube. Create create an account on YouTube, a, a channel, and then put it online. People might find it just as funny as you did. Um, or if there's like a glitch that happens or whatever, just something out of the ordinary. Put it online, you know, it, it's, it could start uh, like a, uh, invigorate you into, into yeah. Um, also, you know, again, if you've got particular skills in games, show them off. If you're just really good at, say, Dark Souls and you can literally beat it with your nose or something like that, then, you know, uh, fit, record it, put it online, show, show what you can do. Uh, again, it might just, might be good. And, uh, <clears throat> You know, uh, other, other things you can maybe upload are spoilers, uh, hidden secrets from games, because of course there's loads of like Easter eggs and things and, and stuff like that. Or, you know, there's, are you, are you, there, there. tip number nine, streaming. So, you know, a little bit similar to the last one, but this one you get, if you're streaming, whether you do it on YouTube or, or uh, tw Twitch, uh, you, you can build a community, you know, um, if, if people actually start watching, then, you know, you can interact with them and, you know, there'll, there'll be maybe, uh, again, hopefully you'll get some people that just start, you start to create a community uh, of, of like-minded, uh, you know, maybe they like the game that you're playing, for example, and maybe then that might encourage you to play more games like that. And actually you start to enjoy that. Or if, if you're skillful, like I mentioned, before you can show off your skills and then if you're streaming people are like wow that guy is so so amazing oh, I've got to keep watching all the stuff that he makes tip number 10 join a club I mean I don't I mean I do people still do that I mean I mean if that happens around you in, in, in real life like you can join like a like-minded gamers maybe you have a particular interest like uh, RPGs or uh, or maybe join a Discord server. Um, again, that kind of uh, is uh, of a particular 
uh, interest of yours. You know, again, you might have, you know, obviously gaming is uh, you know, an umbrella term for lots of things nowadays. You know, there's people who like mobile games. Uh, uh, people who, like me who love the Soulsborne games uh, and Elden Ring and, and Sekiro and stuff. But yeah, you know, Discord I'm sure has loads of stuff like that. I don't, I don't really know because I'm old. And so uh, I uh, don't use that kind of thing. Tip number 11 on how to make uh, video games fun again is uh, play on PC um, if you don't already. Um, because on PC you can do mods, which honestly, um, for me, when I, when I started to play games and just started to mess around with mods, I, I, I used to have a lot of fun with that. Um, but I don't do that anymore. Uh, cheats. Uh, again, some games offer cheats. I mean, sometimes you can, uh, there's other ways to do cheats and things sometimes nowadays in mon Go online and, you know, uh, whatever, you know, you cheats. Uh, I mean, better maybe with retro games in the past and, and things, because those games always used to have cheats before achievements came along and kind of ruined that, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, and then some games I think, you know, you can probably, I mean, I, I shouldn't really encourage you cheating on like online games because even, it, it, yeah. Tip number 12, um, try VR. If you, if, if you haven't uh, played VR before, it can, be, it can be really funny. It can offer like a, you know, a completely new way to play sometimes some of these games um, and offer just different kind of new experiences. Um, I had a friend who um, said that he was playing the uh, drunken bar fight game and one of the Oculus ones and uh, he just said that he was having so much fun going around, smashing up uh, people in the face with bottles and, uh, you know, just getting into brawls in bars that he didn't feel like he needed to do it for real anymore. So, there's lots of different things that you could maybe give a go with, with VR as well. So, check it out. That's it really, that, those, are, those are my uh, suggestions for how to make uh, video games fun again um so i didn't really put much for an ending so i just want to say thanks for for watching hopefully you'll you'll see that the editing is a lot tighter uh, this time um after having that discussion with my editor uh, i'm sure we're able to kind of make it look really good uh, really polished um and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and um i'll 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 see you in the i'll see you in the next one uh, in in the next have you ever seen some of the beautiful environments in video games and thought to yourself, I'd really like to go there. Now I don't mean in the game, I mean actually go and visit. Like this place. Or this one. What about this place though? I mean, look. I ship it in my daughter's recital right now. A little bit of me time turned into permanent me time. <laughs> How about this one? It's beautiful, isn't it?